Hello, Marvin. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over here at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Shanique. And uh, she sent your website over to me for analysis. I probably don't have to tell you that your website needs some work. Uh, it is outdated. Uh, there's clearly something wrong with all of this white space. And I could not get your actual uh, uh, menu here to load. I don't really know what's going on there. I don't know why it's invisible unless you go over it. But uh, I couldn't find anything else on this page. There, There is something definitely uh, amiss with your with your website and you paid money for it. You paid good money for it. So it needs to be fixed clearly because your website is suffering from it and it is not what you hoped it would be. It is not a tool of your company that brings you customers or money. Uh, so that being the case, um, I think this will be a, a fairly straightforward analysis. Uh, let me start with something that is uh, a paid tool that I use, it's called Ahrefs, and it gives me the metrics of your site, tells me how your site has been perform uh, <laughs> performing over the last couple of months. Now, the next thing I do after that is I look at a good old Google search because uh, Google is going to provide you about 96% of your traffic. That is a huge amount of your traffic that is going to come through Google itself when people do searches. Now, uh, there is one thing that governs all Google searches, and that is the Google algorithm. I am going to explain a little bit about the algorithm as we go through all this, uh, and it is essentially looking for three things. The, the first thing is, uh, well, let me get to that in a second. Uh, this is the sponsored area of a Google search. Those are folks who have paid to be there. Nothing wrong with that. You get up to the top of a Google search, but it's not necessary. Uh, and I'll show you why. Now, uh, the first thing that the algorithm wants, it wants you to fill out a Google business profile. That sort of makes you part of the Google family. Uh, and if you do it thoroughly enough, because the uh, algorithm rewards thorough, you can get up here in the map pack, which is great because you're up near the top of a Google search. And there is a monetary advantage to that. Now, uh, these folks uh, did the, the business profile, and it's going to ask you things like what year you started your business, uh, what your actual hours are. Um, it's going to have some other tick boxes, and it's going to ask you to prove that the website that you're filling out the profile for is your own. Um, now, uh, underneath that is what we call the organic search results, and as you can see, the first thing up is Angie's list. Uh, sometimes it's Yelp, sometimes depends on the area. But um, Angie's list does not have to be first. Uh, other sites could slide into that position. This site, for instance, could. And this is the first actual um, remodeling contractor that I found. And uh, I'm going to refer to them for the purpose of this analysis as your Google competitor. Now, here is their site, uh, J. Grubbs Construction. Now, uh, I'm going to do something really fast. I'm going to take your website and copy and paste all of it into a word counter. I know you couldn't really see that because it's, oh no, it didn't work anyway. Let me try. I'm going to go down here and see if I can do it from here. Um, select all. Your website is not cooperating with me today. Well, let me do it this way. I'm going to go to their website. I'm going to do the same thing, copy and paste into a word counter. And uh, you have, uh, they have 417 words. Now, I don't know how many you have because your site is not working for me. But uh, I can tell you that Google wants 1,500 words. Now, I don't know if you have that many here. It seems like you might probably have 500 maybe, 700, something like that. And the reason that that's important is because the Google algorithm wants um, content. Content is king at Google. The reason is Google wants you to be able to educate their search customers for whatever it is that uh, they are looking for when they do a Google search. Now, um, that is uh, the minimum number of words that Google wants. But uh, I can tell you that it would be great to beat your competitors. Doing more than 1,500 would be even better. And I'm also going to tell you that all words are not equal. For instance, 
The Google expects you to have keywords on your website. Here we go. You have six. Keywords are words that Google expects you to have on your site because they have to do with your industry, they have to do with the uh, communities you serve, and they also have to do with uh, how the websites that you and your competitors have uh, match up to Google searches themselves. Now, um, six is a fairly low number. I'm going to show you your competitor has 121. Uh, so that is uh, a, a good jump, but it's not impossible to <laughs> to catch up with that. I'm going to show you what their keyword. All right, they are bathroom remodel, Frederick, Maryland, bathroom renovation, Frederick, Maryland. And uh, this is the point time to point out that the algorithm that determines all of this stuff does not know our language. It doesn't know any of the languages that it does it. Remember, it's doing this for uh, businesses across the globe, not just English speaking ones. So all it knows is what it is looking for. It is looking for the word remodeling. It is looking for the word renovation. It does not know that they are related. It does not know the difference between contractor and contractors. It doesn't know singular and plural. It just knows the words that it's looking for. And those are the keywords. And they could be any number of variety of words that are very, very similar. Now, uh, deck builders, Frederick is one, sunroom builder. Uh, you can see it's a lot of stuff from your industry. Uh, and that's what people are are Googling about, uh, essentially. So uh, the next thing I'm going to tell you about is backlinks. You have one backlink, one roma uh, domain. I, I wonder what that is. I'm going to look at that. Now, your backlink means that you are on a site that has, uh, that your site is listed on that is a link back to your site on it. Now, um, I don't know how long this is going to take to load, but uh, here we go. Your one backlink is Yellow Page City, so that's good. Uh, here is what they have. You had one. They have uh, nineteen. Uh, again, that's not hard to catch up to. Let me show you what their backlinks are. Um, and what do you want is for backlinks. You want these uh, uh, backlinks to be. Uh, it rated in a in like say seventy to uh, up to a hundred. Uh, the domain rating is what we're talking about now. And uh, boy, they have none in that range. This will be easy for you to catch up to. Wow, this is an easy job. Now, uh, for instance, uh, Angie's List. If you were on that, I, I know it's a paid service. I'm not trying to get them any business, but you know, if you were on it. Yeah, it would have a domain rating of say 91. These ratings are from zero to 100 and they are the uh, strength of a domain's backlink profile, meaning that the more other sites that refer to those sites, uh, the higher the rating. And the reason that that's important to Google is that they want to send their customers to places that are already proven to be interesting, that are already proven to be informative. That's how that works. So, um, that is what that comes down to. Now, let me show you what it all means here. Your traffic last month, the number of visitors you had was eight. That is down two from the month before when you had 10. This is what your competitor had, 185. That is 20 times more the traffic than you had. And uh, that means they had 20 times more opportunity to uh, get an estimate, to get a potential client, to get money in their pocket. That is not a small number. Um, and, uh, you know, that's what this is all about, that this website of yours should be, when it's operating correctly, something that draws people into your company, that feels homey, that people want to uh, come to, and, and also that they will... Um, enjoy being here and want to know more. That's what the bottom line is. Now I'm going to show you something, uh, and it, you're probably not going to be surprised by this, but I'm going to scroll down and see if I can find you anywhere in the, uh, in the results here. And I'm going to ask you something as I do that. I want you to think about your own Google uh, behaviors, and I want to know how far down you scroll before you think to yourself, you know what, I have it. What Whatever works from this point up, I'll be fine. I don't need to scroll down further and further and further. Um, and I still have not found yours. Now I am at the top of page four now. 
uh, people have a long way to scroll before they find you. Even the Frederick County Chamber of Commerce is before you guys, and that's a shame. Because um, this, you had hopes for this. You had hope that this would be something that would, would bring you customers and money. Um, so uh, if digging around in your website and doing these things that I've suggested to you is not uh, your cup of tea, then maybe you want to give Shanique a call. She would be happy to guide you through the next steps. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great rest of your day.